Hi, I'm Blair from Time Central in Rotorua, and today I'm going to show you how I go about making my own glass gaskets. Um, come and have a closer look at these two watches. So I've got two Omegas, both belong to the same customer. They came in for batteries, and in actual fact they need servicing, but the um, main issue I have with them is that the glass gaskets on them were both broken. Now this one I've already done, I've made a gasket and I've fitted the glass. The glass is pushed into this little seal that sits just under the bezel here. Uh, you can't actually see that one without removing the glass, but the problem is that it degrades over time and it does this sort of thing. It just disintegrates, probably as a result of UV light. Um, so we have two options. We can either buy a new gasket from the factory, except Omega will no longer sell them, uh, except to their authorized service centers. Uh, you can try and find an aftermarket seal, which just about never fit right, or you can do what I do, and that's make your own gaskets. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So here's the other one. Um, it's had a tiny bit of moisture and stained the seconds hand. Uh, hopefully that'll clean up okay. But I'm now going to make a gasket for that. So let's just put that aside for a minute. I've done a bit of measuring ahead of time. The Inside diameter of the bezel there is 31.0 uh, millimeters. The glass measures 30 millimeters. So I'm going to cut the inside bore of the seal to 29.90 millimeters. Let's go over to the lathe and we'll see how I go about cutting. Okay, we're at the lathe and I forgot to play, take my ring and watch off. It's, you always do that before you operate any machinery. You don't want to get uh, degloved by your lathe. So I'm going to use four tools for this job. The first is my, it's actually my dedicated brass tool. It's a carbide insert uh, tip that I've ground flat for working on brass. Does an excellent job on um, plastic. The second is a carbide boring bar. This is a um, drill pro boring bar, very, very sharp. The third is a little rounded chamfer tool. I'm thinking of regrinding this with a coarser uh, radius, but it does the job quite well at the moment. And the final one is my little dedicated cutoff tool, which is actually just a piece of pen knife blade um, soldered to a steel blank. So we're going to load up this tool. Now, if you're going to do this successfully, you need sharp tools and you need a decent um, lathe that'll cut to tight tolerances. I use a DRO on my lathe because the MyFit is a 1963 machine uh, and the scales are they just don't have the level of resolution I need to do this successfully. So um, I fire this up and I'm going to run that into 31.000. I'm just going to cut the outside diameter and I'll cut off a bit more than I need. This is a blank I prepared earlier so I didn't have much cutting off to do. Otherwise, the video is just going to be too long. You don't need to see me roughing out. I'm going to just create a bit of a centre bore. And I'm going to change out tool for number two. I'm going to now change tools on the DRO. And now you have to watch me do some roughing out. As I get closer to the finished diameter, I'm going to slow down a bit. Okay, I think we're close enough now that I can now I'll make one more cut. All right, now I'm just going to go to the final 29.90 on the DRO. You can do this without a DRO, it's just more difficult. 29.900, I'm going to cut that inside diameter. I'm going to chamfer that very carefully. You can use a 45 degree angle chamfer. I'm just going to get my head in the way of the shot here so I can see what I'm doing. Just on a 
snick the edge off that, otherwise the glass is going to foul on it. And now I'm going to use my cut-off tool. For this, Seal to one millimeter, a millimeter height. I'm going to hold a piece of round steel bar on the inside. This is going to help prevent any burrs as I part that off. And there we go. One glass gasket made out of white acetal. Let's go and fit that to the watch and see how it goes. Okay, so we've got our seal now, and I'm just going to pop that into the case. Should best be a nice little fit there. And we're going to take the glass, the inside a quick wipe, line that up. Now let's go over to the press, and see if we can push that in. We've got a chop, clock chiming in the background, bit of soundtrack here. All right, and let's turn that around a bit. All right, back to the bench and let's have a look. Here we go. One glass perfectly fitted into that case. I'll uh, go ahead and do the servicing and I'll reassemble the watch and then we'll uh, start filming again when it's time to run a water pressure test and see how I've done. So it's the following day. I've got these two Amigas finished. Both serviced, both going well. And I'm going to pop one of these in the pressure tester. This is the one I filmed the making of the glass gasket. A little needle gonna rest on the glass there. Well, not a needle so much as a sensor. It's gonna measure the deflection. So uh, this test is just gonna be at five bar. I normally would run a higher test, but uh, I just had to replace my compressor and um, the um, new compressor needs a higher pressure switch so at the moment I can't do the full 10 bars but that that's, will change very shortly when I get a new pressure switch. means past pressure test so that just went to literally 50 meters underwater worth of pressure which uh, honestly if it's gonna pass at 50 it's gonna pass at 100 yeah so that uh, glass gasket is a perfect fit it was easy to make uh, quick cost effective and uh, seals up the watch perfectly it's every bit as good as a factory original there you go